Welcome to a call to fasting and praying for the world. Our scripture lesson for today, 2 Chronicles, the seventh chapter, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their lands. There is a divine order that God has. He said, humble ourselves, not somebody else, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then and only then will we hear from heaven and our sins will be forgiven and our land will be healed. Amen. There's not a friend like the Lord, the Jesus. No, not one. No. Our God, our Father, ruler of the universe, we love you, praise you, glorify, magnify, and adore you. We repent of our sin and ask you to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Purge us with hyssop, wash us as white as snow, create in us a clean heart and renew within us the right spirit. We come to you as intercessors praying for the world. For we know that prayer is one of the most powerful weapons we as humans can use to fix any problem. And we thank you. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to move in a mighty way. We pray that, that your spirit, Lord, will bring healing and peace to a world that's so desperately needed. Not everyone has turned from their wicked ways, but we pray salvation to lost souls. Thank you for being a God of grace and mercy, 
for knowing each homeless person and family intimately and being protection, being their protection, their shelter, hope, and help. May your holy, self-given life move in every human heart that's following in the steps of your son, Jesus, that we may give ourselves in the service of others until poverty and hunger has ceased in all the world. We thank you, God. Lord, we stand. We stand in the name of Jesus, rebuking principalities and powers that are inciting conflict and destruction in our nations, businesses, banks, oils, and industries, Lord, gas industries, Lord, and every other financial entity that contributes to our national economy. Help our economic infrastructure, Lord, to stabilize and align to your will. We thank you. We thank you, God, for bringing peace. Lord, we, we, we grant health, just grant health, good health, Lord, to us, physical, mental, spiritual, to all your people, Lord, and complete stillness, complete stillness, God, through all the hatred, terror, and violence. For you told us in your word to be still, to be still, and stand, Lord, and see your work. See your working in this troubled world. And we thank you, God. We ask you to protect us. Protect us from evil, harm, danger, and the fiery dots of the enemy. We pray unity and strength for churches all over the world. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, you will lift it. Your spirit, Lord, your spirit will lift up like a, 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 a standard and destroy the enemy. And we thank you, God. Lord, you also told us in First Timothy, the second chapter, to pray for all people. People who are in authority. We pray for our leaders of our world. And God, we ask you to touch them, God. Touch their hearts. For they have the power and the authority to change things in our world, to make things better for each nation. So, Lord, give them wisdom and discernment to do what is right for you, to do what's right and godly and what's right for the people. We thank you, God. Lord, we just ask you to help us to embrace Jesus Christ, to trust him to trust him, to believe in him, and have faith, and not doubt. We thank you, God. We lift you up, Heavenly Father. We ask you, God, to, to, to just condemn hypocrisy and wipe out prejudice and favoritism. Help us to see each other in the lens of love so that we can love each other. Bless this world. Bless this world and bring the love of Jesus into every heart so that we can model Jesus, model his love all over the world. We thank you and we praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.